Hello, 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 and welcome to this month's Espresso Mail Call. I'm Joe, your host. Was that a dismembered hand? <laughs> what? <laughs> Apparently, Thing wanted to help. Apparently. <laughs> I already drank my espresso. I told him I couldn't wait, you know? So I drank it down like in one fell swoop, but I'm feeling good because of it. All right. And we have some of our usual, oh, I can't say usual suspects. Gary gets upset with that. We got some of our great, great participants here today. So immediately over to my side. All right. <laughs> no way. Left, I guess it's my left, right? Because I'm actually pointing to my other side here, but to my left, I have Mark Andrews. How are you doing tonight, Mark? I am very well, Joe. Very You're well. Looking good, my friend. Same you guys are you. one of the most handsome people that ever goes on YouTube. I mean, look at look at him. Look, look at that beautiful sculpted face, that nice goatee. It's the guy you behind know. you there, Mark. Yeah. <laughs> He's referring to Dave Stevens covers. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Dave Stevens yeah. covers are fantastic. That's what I meant. And we have Chuck, terrific comics and pop culture. How are you tonight, Chuck? We're doing great. Happy Friday to everybody. Yeah, thanks. That's a good, that's a good sentiment. It's a good Friday. But again. I was talking to some friends the other day, and I said, well, you know, uh, why can't we do it tomorrow uh, with Sunday? She goes, today's Tuesday. So I, I, I never know what day of the week it oh is. Oh, my God. So you retired people bad. make me sick sometimes. <laughs> and across from me, we have Steve the White Walker. <laughs> How you doing, Steve? Good day, eh? Hey. <laughs> so any, are you still having snow up there or what? Of course, yeah. We're just buried in tons and tons of snow. No, it's raining <laughs> now. It's rain the rainy water, season. So I, just, I just assumed. I just April assumed. showers bring May flowers, so we're going to be raining so, for the next week or right. two. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Showers are all right. Better than snow. I'm going back up to New York. I think right now we're planning on going up around May. We're going to leave here around May seventh, I think. So probably back in New York on May tenth, I think. So uh, be back uh, with all my comic books, which would be kind of fun to have. Nice. Right? You know. <laughs> Uh, okay, so let's see who's joined us tonight. We've got uh, all right. We've got the usual Tina, the OG. Yay. How are you, Tina? We love Yay. you. Thanks for showing up. Yay, Las Tina. Cruces, New Mexico. <laughs> Thank you for showing He's up. He's got some yeah. wicked books, man. He's been showing them on Instagram. Have you seen? Yeah, those? fantastic books. Excellent. We have Paul, psychedelic comics. Good evening, Paul. Evening. We have Trev, the one and only shipping guru. My brother. Hey, Trev. All right, good to see Shrev. Uh, Steve, there's me. All right, let's see who else. We have anybody else that's shown up? Yeah, my pal Dave Draggy. Dave, good to see you. Dave lives like that way in the building across the way, but he's from New Jersey. Um, so good to have <laughs> Dave here. Anybody else? I got Seth and Ken. Oh, yes, we do. We have Seth Eleven. How are you doing, Seth? Thank you for showing up. Yeah. Kenneth Bird, Ken. Yeah, Kenny. Good to see mm. you, Ken. And I think that's all we got. We'll say hello to people as they come in. We got uh, Brian from LCS, too. Where is he? Oh, yes. yeah, Brian LCS. Did I miss yep. him? Yeah, he's up there. Ah, oh, there yeah. he is. Yeah. Hey, Brian. Sorry, Brian. <laughs> I, I saw you. you. <laughs> all right, thanks for showing. Right after Dave, he was. Thank you, Brian. A member. That's why he's in green. All right. Uh, okay, so that's great. So, We've got, they were showing off some books before we started already. All right. So right. I told them, I said, I don't have that many books here. They said, well, I got this many books. I got this many books. And they started showing some. I said, well, I want to see them now. <laughs> see that? So uh, we're going to do two rounds. All right. So Mark, let me get you in the big seat, in the hot seat here, whatever. Oh, I can't say yeah. that either. Gary will be upset. Yeah. <laughs> no hot seat. That's two now. No usual suspects, no hot seat. Gary's not in the chat yet, so that's all and right. He's not, so we can say whatever we want until he gets here. Yeah. So we say right, Mark, fine. Let's okay. say that you're not. Oh, I can't say that either because Chris, the, 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 the vet says, show me what you got. So I can't. What can I say? Read the right side of that label. <laughs> <laughs> so can I start now, Joe? Are you, yes, are you can. done? Or, okay. okay. So, yeah, he's, he's done violating copyright. Okay. 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 You know? So you guys know that I like uh, finding the stuff in poly bags. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And I found a poly bag I didn't know existed. Now you may have known they existed. I never, I didn't know that they existed. Oh yeah. 
Wow. Cool. Classics Illustrated. Wow, the classics in there. Classic wow. Illustrated, two for 49 cents. You saved a penny. <laughs> yeah, you saved a penny. So very nice. Ivanhoe and, and yeah. Tom Sawyer. And yeah. that's nice because they turned it around so you can see the covers on both. Yeah, yeah that's well, actually a smart idea. But I, I've never seen them before. And, yeah. and I was pretty, Jack, you know, thought that was pretty cool. So, you so where'd you pick it up? Um, I picked I, online, actually, oh. for next to nothing because it's classic illustrated. They're really. Oh, yeah, nobody likes them. No one likes And they're not low HRN numbers. And, you know, like they're 19 early like late 60s early 70s books right so yeah but it wasn't that so much it was a poly bag which i'd never seen before that's or terrific. last illustrated so mm -hmm. and how's the poly bag holding up um it's not bad they did open it you can tell that it's been opened but uh -oh. they did a really nice job and they didn't wreck it like they've cut it is, and there's a little piece there but is it still open there or yeah oh, okay right. yeah but it's endorsed by parents and teachers. So Excellent. Chuck, wow. you approve. Like, I'm glad no, I approved it. That's good. There you go. So <laughs> that's that's my first one. Now, that's nice. I know this will shock you. Today, tonight for me, there are no capes. <laughs> and they're going to be all like my weird, boring books. So anyways, you guys remember, some of us, um, an old TV show starring uh, Ephraim Zimbalist Jr. Yes. 77 cents history. That one and the FBI. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the FBI. Good. Remember the FBI? Yes. I remember saying that on the strip was the show. Was the show. Yeah. 77 cents. So, anyways, Dell. Ooh. Ooh, look at that. Came out Very with nice. this. A painted cover. Yeah. Wow. To introduce the FBI before the show. This Damn, was an like introductory book. To introduce the FBI TV show. That one shot. Nice. Cool. So this Looks is like 1965. One shot? Wow. Yeah, one shot. Nice. Holy crap. Um, there's only 17 on the census. Um, it was one and done. But what's interesting is the artwork of this book is done by a fellow by the name of Joe Sinnott. Oh, yeah, Joe. Yeah, who did like inks for like, he was mostly inker, yeah. and, like yeah. all kinds. He did this is one of his books. That's, as well. that's a beautiful cover. Yeah, isn't nice. that a cool cover? Very mm -hmm. cool. Yeah, I was I was pretty happy picking that up. Of course, right. FBI stands for full blooded Italian, though. I mean, that's what the no, no it's, it's, a, a, it's a female actually, body no, inspector. Offline, we'll talk anyway, because <laughs> it means it can mean many things. <laughs> anyway, so moving right along to stay with the TV show theme. Um, here's a here's a TV show that I'm I'm sure that that probably you really remember because no one else does um, from 1963. Um, the co-star was Charles Bronson. And the star was a 12 year old actor named Kurt Russell. Oh yeah. That's right. Yes. Yes. Holy crap. Jamie McFeeders. Never heard of it. It was a, t a TV show. I heard of it, but I've never seen it. <laughs> so, like, it kills me. Like, you know, Chuck, you know, Chuck Bronson is the second string for this sh for a twelve-year-old back then. That's wild. That's not a Death Wish movie. No, it's a. It was like a uh, MGM TV did the series. It was a wagon train series and all that kind of stuff. But I think that would be a cool one if you could ever track him down. And uh, like, I never uh, saw that. It was on it just yeah. must have just on for one season. Get him to sign that, so. right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's one like one season. Too. One season only. And uh, yeah, if you could ever get Kurt Russell to sign that, I think that would be kind of cool. And uh, so it kind of I'm staying with Gold Key, Chuck. <laughs> so hopefully, you know, you're going to be okay with that. I'm going to be um, I'm gonna be fine with it. Yes. So my next one is 1965 Gold Key, 20th Century Fox movie. And uh, the star, one of the stars was Terry Thomas. Okay. With okay. the big space in his teeth. Yeah, mustache usually. Okay, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. That I remember. Crap. Isn't that nice? Wow. That is insane. So nice fun fact about this one. You know who the bad guy is in this movie? I don't remember. No, Gert Fust, Fub, better known to, as 
Goldfinger. Oh, wow. okay. From James Bond. Wow. <laughs> this movie and Goldfinger, probably the only North American movies that he starred in. Wow. But he's he's the big bad on, in this movie. Wow. He plays a good villain. Yeah, he's a great villain. Anyway, sorry about the glare. Now, so, that was kind of a, com a comedy. Kind oh, yeah, it was. It was, yeah, with Terry Thomas and yeah, Terry Thomas and, and a whole bunch of them. Yeah, yeah, but I'm trying to think back. I'd have to see it again, but I don't think it would hold up that well today. <laughs> I'm thinking there's aspects of the movie that probably wouldn't be well received. Yes, yes. Today. Just yeah. a few. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll, I'll just leave it at that. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So going on my TV theme, my next little series of books, um, uh, there's, I'm good. There's four books, but I'm just going to, I'm just going to fan them. Um, there were 16 issues to this series. Um, what's interesting is this comic book series lasted from 1964 to 1968. Okay. But the TV show it was based on only lasted two seasons, 64, 65 with 72 episodes. And there was the Cape Crusader was blamed for this tv show being canceled but the comic book outlasted the tv show ding, 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 ding. oh yeah. yeah the monsters yeah i like that show it's yeah the show all the time. those are great books that was a good show wasn't that a great book i love i like oh, yeah. the monsters better than the adams family so uh, what's no, that, that's wrong but that's okay <laughs> Yeah, all right. we'll, we'll forgive you since it's your show, but that's wrong. Uh, well, you have to be very careful when you if you're going to collect these books, like there's 16 uh -huh. of them, you have to really take the, you have to look inside because they replicate the covers. Yeah, like oh, this really? cover is on two different issues. Yeah, they did that with Grimm's Ghost Stories too. Yeah, they yeah. they they would so you need if you want to be a, get the whole series, you got to really look. You got to read the I'd numbers sure inside. The number yeah. of the issue because you get caught with it. Yep. Yeah. So it, those yeah, are kind of cool. Yeah. Um, Del, Del, Del was, was bad about doing that to extend series so they didn't have to pay people. So they'd start reprinting yeah. things because I know Man from Uncle does the same thing. Yeah. Yep. About two thirds of the way through. And, and a lot of their series that went, a lot of their TV series that went more than, you know, six issues did the, the other same thing. thing. With this series, if you notice, you need to use silver and gold bags. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it's just that yeah. weird size. It was in that weird time when they were just changing size. So the back two are older than the front two. So when you're going to bag and board, you got to go. Yeah, you, know, you have to have everything. Yeah, you don't want to bend your books. Yeah, so my mads are like that. Yep. Yeah, sticking with the TV theme, this one... Uh, the comic book series only lasted for nine issues. Um, and again, this is one of those ones where issue number one and issue number nine are exactly the same yeah. cover. Um, and the TV series lasted for six seasons. Hey, Mark, this sounds like a anachronic college, college of comic book knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> Hogan's Heroes, I love that show. Yeah, so there's three books here of Hogan's yeah. Heroes. So these ones are all new to my collection. Mm -hmm. um, I did have some of these, but not I in know nice, nothing. Yeah, not are in a bodies? really nice, as good condition as these ones. Mm, like nice, that one, it's, the nice. white is really nice. That yeah, is so pretty. Really, really good. So I was really fortunate that, uh, like, for these books that I'm showing tonight, except for the one that I bought online, um, all came from uh, my local comic shop. Uh, a gentleman in his uh, mid seventies came in with two long boxes, and uh, they called me. <laughs> Mark has the money. Call him. He'll buy anything. He'll buy anything. That's so right. the last two books in this round, um, again, these are gold key. Um, just they're just kind of fun books. Um, this is a, a one and done book. Mm -hmm. Kind of neat. King yeah. Louis. Yeah. Uh, kind of neat. So this is uh, 1968 as well. But yeah. what's interesting, there's an A and B version of this book. Really? One yeah. has the, this is the one that has the uh, back cover is actually a picture. And there's one that has an ad. Yeah. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Hmm. So again, like if you're a completionist, you're looking, if you want to get them you, both. To get hmm. them both. Do they have Whitman's in those too? Um, no. Yeah, I don't think so. 
No, they don't. That's before Whitman's, Steve. Okay. So just I'll, uh, let's have a look at the back cover. So this one. is the back cover of this one. Oh, yeah. nice. Oh, that's just awesome. The bare necessity. Yeah, start singing. Yeah, yeah. Steve. I don't remember if my copy is the back cover or not. So yeah, so the the uh, some have like the you know I can't I think it's the uh, toy the plastic toy army ad or something. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. With all the yeah, yeah, like mm -hmm. buy buy for buy four all the bucks soldiers, or three bucks the buy this and, and a foot locker. Mm -hmm. And the last one is in the same vein. This is 1963. It's a one shot. There's only 20 of these on the CGC census, and 9.8. Um, Sold for six hundred and eighty bucks in twenty twenty three, which yeah. which kind of surprised me. And it's the sort of oh, wow. crap. And there's an oddball one too, eh? Yeah. I'm surprised there's a nine eight of that floating around. Honestly, well, I was that very is... shocked that there was a nine eight floating around of this because there's there like it had to have never been sold. Yeah, yeah. that's the only way because they're destroyed. I mean, These all my Disney are usually stuff beat to death. Yeah. So again, you know, that's a it's a pretty cool pretty cool book and i was pretty happy to pick that up i'm anyway, not sure if some of those had poly bags and or where they were poly bagged with the three bags and or the three comics in the some of those i don't I think, think so they was I too think, old for that wasn't that was yeah i think those are yeah. i think those are before the poly bag days so thank you, Chris. you that was day. awfully nice of you <laughs> <laughs> mr bigger they can't get past that marvel thing i know the they can't thing. well i didn't even like see it's all gold key oh look at <laughs> that yeah, right there yeah. <laughs> it's all right i got a bunch of dc chris i'll hook you up brother okay Maybe. so that yeah. that's my first round joke excellent very good <laughs> a lot of tv show stuff you know you yeah. you i actually have a TV show one also, or two of them maybe. Oh, good. Um, and because you guys got me involved in it. I had a few in my collection from when I was a kid. But now when I go around and I see one, I go, oh, I like that show. <laughs> I like, yeah, well, that's the problem, right? I like that show. And that's why it we're is, here, Joe. Yeah. Yep. Stimulate the economy. Yeah, Not I know. I know. <laughs> All right, so Chuck, you're up. All right, so... Um, so my LCS has been starting to try and move some stuff and everything. And I stumbled across a run of a series from the nineties that I didn't read then, but the cover art is really cool. And I got it much cheaper than the prices on there. So uh, it is a lengthy run of Ghost Rider 2099. Oh, wow. Wow. Now I'll be honest. The stories in here are not the best in the world. This is mid nineties. But the covers just have this kind of really cool vibe to them that I yeah. like. Oh, wow. That's oh, cool. Wow. Nice. Let's see if I can pull out another one here. For our fans of Spider-Man 2099. Oh, that's cool. Crossover there. Yeah. These are not yeah. like the early ones with the with the ugly motorcycles, and they're all different types of motorcycles. Dope right. No, this is much that. more cyberpunk type stuff. That's cool. cool. Yeah. So, so yeah, what year is this from, nicer. Chuck? This is uh, ninety four, I think ninety five. Okay. Yeah. So you know, there are yeah, only twenty five issues 90. in the run. I've got about twenty two of them. Um. Here we go. There you go. Another cool nice. one there. Look well, at the flames on the title. Yeah. So, you know, just kind oh, of. Hellacious. Some really just kind of cool stuff there. And there's the, the last one I had on uh, number 20. So, cool. Oh, so I got those for a song at the LCS. And, uh, you know, it was kind of cool. So that was fun. Um, kind of neat. That's kind of neat. I also went to uh, one of the other LCSs in town that was doing a sale and picked up a Did couple of Did they call you on the them. phone, Chuck? Yeah, no, unfortunately not. No, I, I'm not one of their I'm not one of their important people. So <laughs> uh, they have plenty of important people in town. Uh, but I was able to score this. Oh raw, which is kind of nice. That's nice, yeah. You know, so another one of these cool romance books. Um and also some Scooby-Doo team-ups 
which oh, are cool. surprisingly gaining value, uh, even really? though it's a relatively recent series. Yeah. Yeah, that's a really recent series. But they were severely underprinted. And, you know, and they're they're kind of fun. They're not anything, you know, they're it's not setting the world on fire, yeah. but, but they're yeah. fun. Yeah. yeah. And then the last thing for this round is a um, Kickstarter that I participated in. And it was done by Jeff Smith of uh, Bone Fame. And uh, he has been recently sort of getting his stuff together. And he did, many people know that Bone started off as a cartoon right. comic strip in the uh, school newspaper in Ohio State. And so he's done a collection of the works a long, long time ago. You can find the print on, e you can find the collection on eBay somewhere and spend a ton of money for it. Uh, he offered to recollect the stuff, however, as part of the Kickstarter. And so here we have Born in the Early Years. Wow, that's so this cool. This really nice hardbound book. Um, it's really, really cool. And, you know, it's, I was amazed at how much of the story was already, already existed. That's amazing. Well, you know, as someone who collected Bone when it came out. And I also got a tier that included uh, some art pieces. Ooh, some original including art. Including a copy of his oh, original nice. pencils for uh, of one. And then we pull it out here. The actual final oh, art. Oh, that. cool. That's awesome. Very nice. nice. And then it had uh, one of the issues of Bone had like multiple covers to it, 38. And so they gave, uh, they sent out some larger prints of the alternate covers, including the Frank Miller cover. Uh, wow. <laughs> oh, excuse me. That's not Frank Miller. Sorry. That was, uh, I don't remember who that was. This is the Frank Miller cover here. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's right. wow. yeah. Damn, that's diabolical. I love it. And then I think we can all guess who did this one. So, a little bit of Alex Ross work. What is yeah. It? Okay, Alex. Oh, nice. okay. I did not know he did oh, that. Holy crap! <laughs> yeah. So that's stunning. So it was so it was really cool. I was really glad to have this uh, come in. Um, Very so. cool. And that's so all I've is got. That Alex that. Ross recreated anywhere, or is it just with that Kickstarter? Uh, no, this is the this is one of the alternate covers on issue thirty eight of both. Okay. So the all three of these were covers that were done that issue, yeah. And so they just recreated them in larger uh, cardstock and stuff. So okay. Nice. Okay. The White Walker. Everybody's bringing all this thunder, and all I got is like these crappy two dollar books that i picked up for yeah i know yeah right okay <laughs> <laughs> we'll start out with a very controversial one that's going on in the uh the comic book world right now right mm -hmm. frisker who yeah. uh who's now dead he killed himself and uh, this is a limited one in 15 of red room i think it was like 35 bucks for this thing i paid two dollars for it wow wow yeah, it's a really cool cover. Who did this cover? This was done by uh, Jim Rigg. Yeah, he's, he's a co-presenter on Kayfabe. So. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, that was a whole big controversial thing going on. I've got all the red rooms. Like, it's a really messed up story. This is, I don't even know what this is about. Oh, it's messed up. It's, it's yeah, about it's, the, yeah. dark, the dark web. You've heard yeah. of the dark web, oh, yeah. right, Joe? Yeah. Yeah. So there's all these uh, rooms where people kill other people and oh other right, okay, for entertainment. So Got it. Yes. That's why yes. it was very controversial. And they said it's like banned in eight countries. So kind of got a it. crazy thing. Oh. Okay. And then I got somebody already trying to phone me here too. Yeah. Oof. They want to buy it. <laughs> Maybe. Another one of my two dollar finds. So we got some DC goodness. Are you in there, there Scott? You go. There you go, Mister Bigger. You there you go. Happy now. Somebody's going to bring the DC for you. Look at that. Very nice. Yeah. Yeah. And then I've been slowly getting the uh, the Dark Knight's medal. And again, yeah. these are just, like, again, $2 fines. Well, you know, and they, and, and they were, some of them were pretty costly when they came out because I think I have pretty much all of them. Yeah. This is like, it says $7 on here. Yep. And this is yeah. only uh, issue number five, for Christ's mm -hmm. sakes. I mean, 
Well, they had multiple covers too. Yeah. Yeah. They so, were, yeah, I don't know if uh, I guess I could see if the UPC is on the front there. I could tell. That's an A cover. Okay, so that one's an A cover. This one here, I think. Oh, it's an A cover as well. Number six and six ninety nine. Look at that freaking dragon thing and the chrome nice. stuff. Yeah. Tina, look at shiny. <laughs> shiny. Yeah, I mean, they were very, very good covers. A lot. Oh, of them were okay. Come on, tell mm -hmm. you got. Can you put bigger and time out, Tina? <laughs> yeah. There you go. See, <laughs> I was gonna say I, I brought Ghost Rider. I mean, I don't know what he's complaining about. Come on. I brought history and culture. Now I got to get all the other DCs out front here. Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> we're on a roll here. We're on a roll. We're, so we're in trouble for calling Bonanza culture. So, I mean, we, we do need yeah. to be careful. So. Yeah, yeah. The Flashpoint one. Dark it, multiverse. There's stuff. there's one of these. I, I don't know how much money I spent because I just loved it. It has like the, um, the uh, Flash character running through there, you know? And yeah. it, it was like you had to pay a premium for that one at the time. Probably can get it for... You know, a few bucks to the yeah, but, but these are all yeah. two dollar pulls. So it's the guy that I deal with in Oshawa, um, uh, Matt, and uh, he does these two dollar claim sales on Fridays. So I'll be sitting there in whatever meeting and I'm like, claim, claim. Oh, yeah, I'm paying attention. Claim, <laughs> claim, claim. Yeah, uh huh. Claim, claim. Another good one Wonder Woman War of the Gods. More DC goodness. Red Death, that's right. To remember okay. the name of it. And then I went backwards in time there, trying to fill out some of my uh, next men. Oh yeah, so some early mm -hmm. next men. It's that one issue number six. I think the really the valuable one, or no, that's eight. The valuable ones are the one with Hellboy in it. Yep. There was two of them. There was one where Hellboy was in black and white, and then he's in color. And that's yeah. up in the teens somewhere. It's some more 14, DC goodness. 16, yeah. Very Suicide good. Squad, another one of my eighties, nineties. Goodness, yeah, that's yeah, it's, yeah, it's from the 80s because I, I think I stopped collecting this somewhere like four or five issues in. So, again, it's it's kind of cool when or sorry, kind of neat when I go on to this uh page of his and start <laughs> filling out stuff from back when I was younger. This was an oddball one back in the uh 80s, 90s. Was this Wasteland? Mm -hmm. I'd never seen blank covers back then, but there was yeah. a blank cover one, yeah, which is kind of cool, kind of neat. Seth wants, Seth to, wants to know publisher. the publisher of Next Men. Oh, that's I think that's um, Dark Horse. Dark Horse. Yeah, it's it's Dark Horse. Horse. yeah it's, that's Dark yeah. Horse. Yeah. John Burns. Yep, John Burns. Good old Next John Burns stuff. Yeah. There's yep. a little horsey up there in the corner. Yeah, they first appeared in uh, Dark Horse Presents. So. Yep. Yes, before yeah. they did that. You know, filling out all my stuff from back then. And then this is just some weird stuff that I found on the page there. This one's Woven Heart, some kind of Mad Cave comics. Looks kind of vampirish. So I thought that was cool looking. And then these ones, this was so hot for a while. This is year, year zero stuff. Yeah. These books were going for like ridiculous money. And now I've got issue one and this one's issue two of five for two bucks each. Okay. So I'm like cleaning up on all these, you know, see that just shows that you need to be patient. Don't mm. go for the FOMO. Sometimes you, a couple of years later, bang, they're in like $2 yeah. bins. Yep. Unbelievable. G.I. Joe, starting to do my Who's IDW. Who's mm -hmm. G.I. Joe? G.I. Joe. Yeah, G.I. Yeah, Joe. This I went IDW, took it over. Um, no, Ham, Hama wasn't doing it then. Not on this one anyway. That's just a random issue from it. So I've been slowly getting everything G.I. I wonder why I like the G.I. I don't G.I. Joe stuff. I don't know. Uh. I don't know. It's a it's a mystery. It is. And some uh, James Tynan the Fourth goodness. This is his personal um, passion project, The Wind. Mm -hmm. And again, these books were going for stupid money too. And now I'm picking them up for like two bucks. It's almost like he's kind of dropped off the map. I haven't seen a lot of stuff by him lately, except for uh, House of Slaughter. Yeah, that's about no. all he's doing. Like I haven't seen. He might be uh, doing something else, but I don't know what he else he's doing. Yeah, and, and speaking of that, I, I started with the House of Slaughter and then I dropped off because I wasn't digging the story. And then now that I'm finding them for two bucks instead of paying like almost six dollars a book, I'll take them for two bucks all day long. Because mm. why not? Here's another the fun story, one. The stories get a lot better when they're only two dollars. So, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> much better. Yeah. 
Bill and Ted are doomed. Oh, no. <laughs> Absolutely doomed. I just had to because that's such a classic uh, movie. Yeah. yeah. Bill and Ted's excellent adventure. And then some weird ones, this hotel hell thing again, two dollars. So yeah, I know nothing spectacular, but I'm going for like cover buys and stuff. Oh yeah. Some kind of this looks like the nineties Rob Liefeld stuff. Jim Lee. Mm -hmm. Yep. As soon as I saw the name, I thought, all right, we'll give it a try. And the last one for my first round is another one that was hot for a while and then fell off the uh the old wagon. Yep. Was Red Mother. Red Mother, yeah. So this one was a little bit of a hype. <laughs> Done. Joe. Done. 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 All right. Hey, Joe. Now you want to see some good stuff? No. Yep. Yeah. Bring the good, the neat stuff. The <laughs> you want to see the neat stuff. <laughs> so Marvel Collector's Item Classics ran from 65 to 69, 22 issues. I have some I bought as a kid. I think I had like one, two, four, seven. I mm. now, when I see them, you know, and it just catches my fancy. I bought number 10, I think a while back, and I have number 13. Nice. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, I remember these. I think the I got a couple from, of them. Yeah, the cover's from mm -hmm. FF18, I believe. I might have that yeah. wrong. But we got, let's see, Iron Man, The Black Widow Strikes Again. I wrote these down. Uh, Doctor, that was from 64. We've got Doctor Strange, The World Beyond from Strange Tales 122 in July 1964. I used to love these when I was a kid because I used to get all these stories in one. Yeah, there was a bunch in there because yeah. it was almost square bound, wasn't it? Yeah. Almost. You can kind of. Yeah, yeah, it was. A, it is square yeah, bound. It yeah. is square bound. It okay. is square yeah. uh, Tales of the Watcher, which was a cool series back in the day. Mm -hmm. That's from Tales of Suspense 52 in 1964. Um, Incredible Hulk versus the Metal Monster which I only has six pages of that story. And I forget which issue of the Hulk that was from, but I think, I, I can't remember. I can't, I don't want to say what it was. And then what was the other one? Oh, the, oh it, was from, it was from Incredible Hulk number six. Oh, one wow, the last the one. Wow. But they only put three or four pages of it in there for some reason, I'm not sure why. And um, I think that's it that's in this one. But so, you know, if I see it and they don't want a lot of money for it, I'll pick it up. Maybe eventually I'll get a little 22. Do it that way. Nice. Now, you know, I like Doc Savage. And um, so I'm, I just look, if I find a Doc Savage book, I pick it up, you know. So the Marvel series, which was eight issues, mm -hmm. I um, from 1972 to 74, I think it was. I have seven of those issues. I see eight, <laughs> but I want to get it for like next to nothing. So I haven't bought it yet. Uh -huh. But one thing I didn't have, and I got this for eight dollars, you know, um, at a local shop over here, um, is the giant size Doc Savage. Oh, nice. very nice. Yeah, oh, nice. Man. Yep. So yeah, so this is a nice, nice one. I don't. I think this was the only one that they uh, that they came out with, if I remember correctly. Yeah. I don't think you get his legs too much further apart than that. That's going to be and very The guy's painful. amazing, you know? Man of bronze, <laughs> what can I tell you? you know? so. And white pants, too. He should have worn brown pants. <laughs> it reminds cool. me of the uh, Neil Adams Superman cover with the leg going over the... Yeah, yeah. The yeah. <laughs> or the, uh, the uh, what is it, Iron Man 1. Iron that Man 1. Mm -hmm. Correct. Too. Correct. Nice. Okay, good. All right, let's see. Now, this, Mark, you see, this is part of it. So, uh, Dell. Now, the, here's a show that was on in the olden days. <laughs> <laughs> and it involved, to change the channel. It involved a wagon. Okay. With well, that three it people cross country. <laughs> yeah. To set Little up. house on the prairie. No. <laughs> that narrows it down from the olden days to about 22 shows. <laughs> you know, I, I missed I missed the westerns. You know? Yeah. You see, you see yeah. a couple of things coming back now, but the westerns was so good. It was yeah, always good versus were. evil. Yeah. You know, they were very simple days. You know? Yeah. Yeah, very right. simple times. And simple one of the days. ones that I really liked. This is from uh, 1961. Is wagon train? 
Oh man, yep. yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. So this is a wagon train number eleven from I think they came out quarterly. So it was like the October, December, nineteen sixty one. And like a lot of the Dell ones, the first four issues of this came out as four color books. Yep. Yep. And then they continue with number four, yep. right? And mm -hmm. they uh, go on to 13. So there's the four, four, four colors. I'm sorry, three, four colors. Then numbers four through 13 um, come out as their own uh, wagon train title on this. And it has the Dell value stamp logo on it. Yeah. Oh, right. the, corner. The, the corner. Up right. in the corner. All right. Over here. I always wanted a Winchester. Those are such cool rifles. Aren't they cool? Yeah. yeah just that yeah. click, click. Yeah. And so the show, you know, was interesting when you look at this and you say, try to go back and remember some of the show. What I didn't realize is a lot of these shows in the uh, in the 60s and I guess in the 50s, too, but in the 60s, if they started on one of the three main networks yep. and when they they felt that they weren't, you know, wasn't doing that well, it got picked up by another network for another season oh, or two yeah. seasons. Yeah, yeah. So this one was on NBC from 1957 to 1962. And then it moved to ABC from 1962 until 1965. So it was on for a long time. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And now this is the one that when I saw this, I had to pick it up. And it's in really damn good shape. Uh, it's a Charlton book. There we go. All right. Sold, claimed. Six million dollar man, number one. Million oh, million man. Man. Yes. Oh. <laughs> I, I mean, this is a cool. This is a cool claim. Show. Claim. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I'll send it to you. Soon. Oh so you probably God, have like five awesome. of these, Steve. Come on. So um, it's the first appearance of Steve Austin, obviously. Six yeah. million dollar man uh, in comic books. Um, yep. It's. I mean, it, it. This was in such great shape when I saw it. Um, I don't remember how much I paid for it. But I think the guy wanted something like uh, $15 or something or $20. I forget what it was. But Sold. I, I, you know, that's so, a steal. Yeah. I, I, thought, it, I thought it was a steal, too. That's a yeah. steal. That's great. I mean, just because I looked at it, I said, boy, this is in great shape. Yeah. But I don't think I'll send it to CGC because they'll find something wrong. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you won't have anyway. Lucy Larry there. Yeah, painted no. cover. I don't know. I, I think, let me see if I did any. Um, I think they only had nine issues of this. Yeah. Right? There wasn't very right? many. Yeah. yeah, and there's a magazine too, Joe. I'm sorry. There's a magazine too. Yes, there is. There are seven or eight issues of the magazine. So yeah, wow. and, the the and it was 76 to 78. Yeah, I love that I, show. My recordation. I watched that show yeah. faithfully, and I add all the action figures for that thing too. Destroy the still, Do you still have the Bigfoot, show. Steve? No, they're all gone. Uh, I even had that dude that had the, the removable faces and body parts and stuff. Oh, yeah, you had you had the uh, the robot, yes. The yeah, robot. the robot one. I had that. That's what Stone yep. Cold got his name. There you go. Bionic sounds. Yeah, I should have gotten yeah. some yeah. bionic sounds. Right. So I was happy when I found <laughs> this when I saw it in the shop and I picked Very it up. Cool. So are you implying, Joe, that we're impacting your your buying habits? Maybe a little bit. Oh, I think you have. Yeah. Uh, a little bit. You absolutely have. Yeah, Mark, Mark, Mark is saying you have had influence on him. I believe that's what he's trying to tell. The only us. thing is, some of these, you know, you got to really find them. You got to really look for them because some yep. of them, and I don't care if it's not in the greatest right, shape, as long yep. as the cover looks good. Yeah. Yep. But but this one was fantastic shape. Yeah. And, and when you find, sometimes they want, I think, a little bit too much money for them. Mm -hmm. So that's so I have to like go. Oh no 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 no. You know. But anyway. All right, Mark, you ready for uh, your second go? Go around. I don't have. I, I I have just a small pile. That's all. So, right. <laughs> so because stories are always kind of repeated and copied and stuff, and people think there's this story that you're seeing just now in the movies is all exciting and has come out before, though it's not quite the same. But you guys, you know the Cocaine Bear movie that came out yeah. and had yeah. the. the Brown, the black bear high on cocaine attacking and terrifying everyone. Right. Well, back in 1966, okay, they had Night of the Grizzly. Ooh, mm -hmm. the OG cocaine bear. And he wasn't even high. He was just being a miserable grizzly bear. Yeah. Right. I figured he was just, you know, took too much pot from somebody. I mean, you know. Well, that could have been. <laughs> so, <laughs> been. That's um, a cool cover. You know, this is, do you remember Clint Walker, the actor, yeah. Joe? 
That sounds familiar. Yeah, Clint yeah, Miller. big square jaw guy. He was his yeah. family. Anyways, it's a vicious grizzly killing stock, and the young boy gets out, and it's really terrifying. And anyway, but I just thought it was a cool cover, and there wasn't a whole lot of them uh, out there. So, and the price was right. Dell yeah. Twelve Center. Yes. So going into some gold key. This is interesting, and I'm surprised that, but it surprised me a little bit. Another 9.8 of this one, Chuck, sold in 20 November 2023 for 1600 bucks. Wow, we count. Okay, so it was a cartoon, only lasted two seasons, and the voice of the main character was uh, voiced by Ted Cassidy. Oh, Ted now Cassidy. you know who that oh, is. Yes. Yeah, Lurch. From the Adams yeah. family. Uh -huh. yeah. That's right. That that is an awesome. Oh, yeah. Tina helped me find one of them. I remember that one online, and that is just that's an incredible book. Yeah, isn't that it nice? Really is. That's neat. Yes. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, and I can tell you the the, the idea of getting a nine point eight in that book. Oh, is, I know. Would just I, I can't even imagine. I can't either. Yeah. Like this is in beautiful shape, but I I well you know I don't slab very many yeah. things, but yeah the color of this is awesome, and I was pretty happy. It could use a little bit of spruce up, but it was a good cartoon. Oh, it was great. Yeah, no, that was great. You no, know, mm -hmm. like come out and go and all that stuff. Yeah, I remember that. The, the Impossible Trio weren't half bad either. So you yeah, know, they, yeah, because it was the double but... cartoon they did uh, Frankenstein Junior. Then the Impossibles. Yeah. So um, this one is going back to TV, 1966. Um, only one season for some strange reason. I don't know why, because it seemed like okay, like starring Imogene Coca and a few others. And it was from Sherwood Schwartz, who did Gilligan's Island. Oh, yeah. There we go. Mm -hmm. It's oh. about time. Okay. Yeah. It, it, the, the, why, the reason it didn't last is because... <laughs> Flintstones. It was about time. Yeah, it was, yeah, it was yeah, first like all, the, the beginning. The beginning. It's about time. It's about space. It had a good theme song. That was it. Yeah, that's about it. Like yeah. you can only have astronauts being chased by dinosaurs so many <laughs> show episodes, and it kind of loses it. So, um, but again, it was one of those books sitting in that one of that long box that I may have just been able to plow through. That I went, oh, I gotta have that. So yeah, sure. It was a nice shape. And in the same long box, because apparently the guy was kind of interested in in westerns, I guess. Um, this is issue number one from 1964, Car Charlton. Oh, oh man, cool. nice. Oh, gun that's master master. And I the love those gun Charlton boy. books. Yeah, the Gun Boy. Those Charlton books are great. When you could find, I mean, that's a new one for me. But when you go out, you suddenly you see, oh, Charlton did this book. You, you don't yeah. even know some well, of them. That they did, they did uh, 89 issues of this. Holy crap. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Wow. Like 89 issues. They of actually that. sold that stuff. Wow. It, it was it the same thing? Because sometimes they just change the title and they keep the numbers going. Sure. You know, Charlton well, did that I mean, a lot. I'm, I'm not sure because it was. had the numbers. Um, like the, it says, Wizards of Firearms, Champions of Justice. Don't miss this first issue of the most exciting bullet fast team ever to fight crime in the West. I mean, how could you do this? No, yeah, that's perfect. With a it line like that. Anyway, I thought that was pretty cool. And now I did kind of give a little bit of a uh, preview to this series, and I have I I got this series. I had them, but these were in such nice shape. And the original owner bought them all together, and I couldn't resist. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, nice. Ah, <laughs> no, you can't. Now, oh, that was only on for one oh, season, no. right? Yeah, one yes. season. So I mean, I season. liked that. Show. When, it, when it didn't come back, I was upset. Yeah. Those, those are cool fantastic covers. books. Yeah, these are great books. Um, I mean, you know... They they're collectible because of Bruce Lee, but it was a good it was a good series. I liked it. It was kind of cool. I mean, the uh, somewhere over there is the you know the Black Beauty from when like and stuff like that. And there's the the whole thing with Green Hornet. So it just the price was definitely worth it to pick up the three all together. And it's kind of sure. neat, all bought by the same guy off the spinner rack. Mm -hmm. When he was a kid, so yeah, I had to pick it up. 
That's cool. Yeah. I could not refuse them. Now this this last one, Joe, is yeah. my last book. I have been looking for this book and it was in one of the long boxes that I told you about. Um, there was only two issues. And uh, it's 1965 and Helen Meyer from uh, Dell Publishing, she went out on a limb uh, from Don Arnes uh, Arnson wanted to write it. And it was, uh, the story was about a wealthy gunslinger fighting injustice. And it was a first of its kind. And uh, they only sold, any, the estimate was between 10 and 15,000 books out of a 20, 200,000 run. And the dealers kept, they just shipped the books back still bundled and they wouldn't sell them. Holy crap. And it's this. Global. Yeah, but, oh, it's yeah. a great book. Holy mm -hmm. crap. Very nice. That's cool. Right. So I've been looking for this. Yeah. And it's hard to find. And there it was in a long box sitting at my LCS. Wow. That was That's number two there. Have. No, number two. Oh, Chuck, I looked. <laughs> <laughs> he dug, and then he went through it again. Yeah. And I went through it again. Yeah. But no, number two was not there, but number one certainly was. And uh, wow. I'm really happy about having this in my collection. Yeah, uh -huh. you should be. That's a great yeah, book. That, that's a fascinating book where it really heated up for a while. And yep. while it's not as red hot as it was, it's still highly, highly collectible. Yeah. You know, it hasn't Absolutely. had that that big drop off. And people don't realize how hard two is to find. I mean, two is well, yeah. So, so my understanding is two is being printed as one is going out the door, right? To keep yeah. And then when sales were so horrible with one. It was a very limited release of two, and you they're hard, hard to find. So mm -hmm. if I can find two, I'd be like pretty happy. I'm really happy about having number one. Um, I that's was, a nice shape. Yeah, it is. Original owner, he read them and stuck them in a box. Mm, perfect. So I was mm. uh, quite pleased to be able to pick that up because it you know I mean when you think about it when you read get the whole story the history of it this is really an interesting piece of comic book history yeah um and uh the fact that it gets to enter into this collection and and saved and until somebody else picks it up i'm pretty was pretty happy about it's that terrific. So, it's terrific you get book. to curate it that's excellent yeah that's i get to curate good. it for a while and look after it yeah, so that, that's almost months. as good as my six million dollar man number one i'd say, well, I'd say so. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> absolutely so i'm edging towards six million dollar man <laughs> other than like maybe uh even up trade how about that um, <laughs> <laughs> other than all the bonanza books i got out of the same yeah. box that's, that's it awesome. wow. i love the bonanza Ooh, how many bonanza books are that uh there's uh 22 yeah lot. one for every year of the see every year of the show i think so Probably, yeah, like, yeah. It, there's 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 a lot there's that many Oh Look God. at that. Oh, man. I love that show, too. I was a yeah. huge fan of that as a kid. Great show. Great show. I started watching the we'd play Cowboys and Indians immediately afterwards with that. And if you can find the action figures from the day, and I do have the board game, the Bonanza board game, but I don't have the action figures yet. Yeah. I'm still looking. I wonder why mm -hmm. all the kids look different than the dad. Wow. Different mothers, Steve. Just <laughs> different mothers. <laughs> Okay, but well, very cool, very cool. We'll work with that. All right, <laughs> Chuck. Well, I don't. I really don't know how I'm going to follow. Man, that's a that's a hard act to follow. So let's I know. see. So I, I got know. some some random stuff here and a couple of modern slabs that have come back. I don't get modern stuff slab very often, so it's for my personal collection. Um, but I did send off a uh, one of my Charlton since we're showing off Charlton books. So I do have my uh, oh, ghostly tales, tales here. Nice. Yeah. Uh, super, super nice shape here. We got great Jim Aparo artwork on it, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which, you know, I don't care. You can't go wrong with Jim Aparo. It doesn't matter. It do doesn't matter what the book is. You can't go wrong with Jim Aparo artwork. So, um, so this is really cool to get back. It's 1979. So, oh, yeah. It just fell under the, the modern submission. And then, um, I gave Reggie a copy. Of this is a joke at, um, at our last garage con, but I decided to get a copy of it slash for myself. It is a Star Trek uh, Starfleet Academy variant edition, all in Klingon, which 
you know, I'm not enough of a Star Trek geek to be able to read it all in Klingon. Thankfully, <laughs> the main edition was all in English. Cool. But, yeah, well, apparently she's saying buy this book uh, or I will, you know, I think kill your neighbors. I don't know what she's saying, <laughs> exactly, but that you know, sounds about right. This is one of those weird books that I keep expecting, you know, like all the Star Trek nerds to just sort of jump upon and, and grab for their collection. Yep. And I guess nobody knows about it. So, you know, that and is this cool. is from that uh, time Marvel got the, the Star Trek license for the second time in the mid 90s. And everyone kind of forgot about it. So, mm. you know, it's actually, it's not half bad. It's not great, but it's not <laughs> bad. So, you know, it's... Well, it, the, the good thing about it, bring it back up again, Chuck. Yeah. The good thing about it, it's got one of those bad girl, you know, covers on there. Yeah. 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 <laughs> exactly. That's right. If you're all into people with sharp knives and, and leather, then, then this is hey, the cover for you. On, so. It's very sexy. Very and, and we, of and we will not weekly. ask anyone in the chat about how they feel about it. They can keep that for themselves. It's okay. So <laughs> it would only have been better if Dave Stevens had drawn it. You know that would have been even more now impressive. That would have made it really. <laughs> that would have terrific. been impressive. But speaking of Dave Stevens, I do have to have my obligatory Dave Stevens cover. So here we go. Yeah. Our, our Doc go, Sa uh, uh, Shadow and Doc Savage. Nice. Um, I want to get the second issue so I can actually read the whole thing now. Mm -hmm. But. It was cool to get this. That's just lovely. I mean, yeah, that's that's, so that, that, Dark Horse puts out such good books. Yeah, that's on yeah. my list, you know, because yeah. it has a Shadow and Doc Savage in there, too. Uh, I mentioned my store is, you know, again, selling stuff at relatively cheap amounts. So I figured, why not? I got a bunch of Valiant Tur Turox. Oh, yeah. There you go. <laughs> you know, Retirement not, books. not number one, but Retirement a lot of books. these other ones. And you start again. I was I didn't pay all these prices for them, but you get to the later issues, and all of a sudden the print runs drop dramatically. Yeah. Yep. And you know, I read through these, and I love um, you know, Tim Truman, but you can tell editorially he was being told to do things that I don't think he really wanted, because it's really hard to screw yeah. up a book that has Native Americans shooting arrows at dinosaurs. <laughs> I mean, really, you know, it's almost like a DC gorilla cover. I mean, how do you, how do you mess that up? I mean, it's such a pure concept, mm -hmm. um, you know. That's such a good cover, though. It is. Well, there, there's some great covers on here, and you know, and you know, this yeah, sort of value is one. not fantastic, but it's not horrible. Again, it sort of regresses back to the '90s. You know what we thought of in the '90s. So, yeah, uh, again, big art. Yeah, exactly. Um, Grabbed a couple of milestone books at the store. Again, ignore the prices because that's not what I paid for them. But, you know, really cool icon there. The capes so, are coming. Nice. The capes are coming. Yep. That's mm -hmm. right. And then a nice little hardware crossover. Yep. With steel. So that's oh, yeah. kind of cool. Kind of neat. Never got into that one. No, but it's, it's, but it's kind of neat. So... Um, and then a friend of mine on Facebook was doing an auction, so I get a got a couple things from him. This cover was just too insane oh, yeah. not to have. I love those Lois collection. Lane, those uh, Lois Lane cool. covers. Yeah, those covers of the '60s are fantastic. I just, they're, I'm they're sorry, fantastic, I just and and I don't even care what the story is in here. No, this don't. cover <laughs> sells the book right there. Exactly. Yeah, do you do you need a story at this point? I mean, no. really, and a lot of times the covers, the, story. the covers had like the scene that never occurred in the story. Well, yeah. I, yeah. Mean, I mean, it kind of was about the story, but wasn't in the, even in the story. Yeah, you're right. That's how it was always. Yeah. Like, yeah. It had nothing to do with it at all. No. And this depiction of the devil is just fascinating. I mean, it really, it's it's so 60s. I mean, just, yeah. It's just so 60s. It is. So anyways, um, he also had a Marvel <laughs> premiere I didn't have. Oh yeah! So, oh yes! I mean, Marvel Marvel King. King. Marvel King. King. So, that was a fun read, you yeah. know. No, the, I think there's three of Marvel Premiere with Kane, isn't it? Yeah, I think there are. Yes, so I got to go track the other ones down. Um, he had a Joe Linzer cover, uh, the guy who did Cry for Dawn, and I did not realize he did a Mystique cover. Oh wow, well, that's kind of cool. I'm trying that's to show nice. this without the glare here, so it's like a tattoo cover. Yeah. It is. So this was really neat, um, and I like Linzer's artwork. I think his artwork is just fantastic. Uh, his writing's not always great, but the art 
and this is just a cool cover so it is so you know that was nice um just a couple more things here okay i do like art germ oh, oh yeah doesn't. here we go and yeah. here we have the og black widow costume nice or rather, the, the first costume as opposed to her and her you know formal dress outfit I don't like this costume, but he makes it look really good. I mean, <laughs> you know, <laughs> I think it's a horrible costume, but this is a really, really nice cover. Yeah, Stanley knows how to how to draw the women. It's yeah, very form does. fitting. He does. I'm sure she can move very comfortably in that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, see, we got uh if anyone's into have some horror here and unexpected. Yeah, now we're right. talking. Yep. You know unexpected you can't go wrong with those no nope. no 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 so that's kill the really demon cool. child kill the demon child well you know we all want to kill demon children uh unfortunately they pay me to teach them so it's <laughs> um only one week left chuck <laughs> yes next week's my last class yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. good for you some of the rest of us are not in that situation mm -hmm. um in honor of the sequel coming out i grabbed uh oh nice Beetlejuice. 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 Yep. very nice so, and these are really, really hard to find. Uh, the Harvey books, you know, they were not ordered in any amount no. whatsoever. No. The no. Early mid nineties. So, you know, they were buried in the back of the back of the store where, you know, only the real deviants or little kids go in and, and, you know, you hoped it was the little kids picking it up and not the deviant. So um, anyways, as and the final as one, as long as Trev doesn't put bigger in there three times, we're okay. Well, you didn't mention Jackson Roy Cook either, so I think we're safe. He's um, not here tonight, so we're okay. <laughs> we said Gary B well three said. times, and he's here now. Well, That's he? true. And this last one is for Tina. Uh, it's in beat to hell shape. And I don't care. Tina, Tina, Tina. It's a Scooby Doo. Oh, yeah. nice. Look at Scooby -Doo that. Scooby Doo 2. So here we go. That's so, two? That's number two. Look at the colors on that. Yeah. that thing Can I order it? number one? No. I saw a I'm number going one to be in the same was... room as a number one. No, Oof. no. <laughs> but I have it. But I have a two now, and this Good. is this is graded as a, like a two five. So it's yeah. and it's every bit it of a two. Though. It's every bit of a two five. It is connected, sort of. Yep. Maybe. I saw number one at a show, and they wanted twenty one hundred dollars for it. Oh god! Oh. Don't yeah. even. Yeah. yeah. And what kind of shape was it in, though? Doesn't it, matter. Yeah, doesn't matter. Like yeah. Point five. Yeah, they like this and kept walking. Yep. Yeah, that's uh yeah, it's funny. I, I remember a guy about 15 years ago uh offering me a number one in probably a 5060 shape for uh, twelve hundred dollars. And I basically laughed in his face and I said, You're out of your mind. And now, of course, yep. he's not out of his mind. Well, yeah, I'm, well, he's yeah, anyways. So um it was funny listening to, I think it was Mark talking about not overpaying for these obscure books like the Six Million Dollar Man one. And this is a guy who comes down here with a lot of the Gold Key and Del Gold Key and Hanna Barbera and Whitman stuff. And he just has jacked up crazy high in the price. And you know, his attitude is I can carry it with me into seven or eight shows. And then I'll find that one guy who has to have it. Yep. And he'll pay and three pay times, it. three times the market. Yeah. So, but you know, I guess that works. So, that's all I've got. So there we go. Nice. Very nice. <laughs> all right, Steve. The White Walker. So last Saturday, I went uh, drove for forty five minutes out to this place called Gotham City Central Comics uh -huh. in Missing nice. Saga, and I got this four pack of uh, books. And there's this dude there named. Jason Fabok, Fab Fabok, something like that. And he was signing some stuff. So I got him to sign it, which is pretty cool. Yes. Pretty nice. neat. Cool. Nice. Nice. Got um, this one here, Ghost Machine number one, the Johnny Dis Dis Jarin, Dis Jarin's, Dis Jarin's cover. Yeah. So that one's one in, one in 500. Oh, and then I realized nice. that they were numbering these damn things. So I got number 105 of that. I should have been digging through there and try to find number one of it. <laughs> mm -hmm. But it was actually a good deal because this one was like 25 bucks. This one was $10. And then they had this exclusive. It's um, uh, 
specifically for um, Gotham City Central, and this one was uh, drawn by uh, Mike Ruth, and he was there too, so he was signing, so I got him to personalize it to oh, Steve. Oh, very good. And nice. then I got Bobak here. And then hopefully when uh, Mark and I are at Fan Expo in August, apparently Jeff Johns and the rest of the gang are supposed to be at Fan Expo. So I'll be getting through there and hopefully getting a whole bunch more signatures nice. on some other books and then get them sent off to CGC because there's a guy in the chat there who was messaging me and wants to uh, get a book too. Maybe signed. I don't know. Cool. Maybe. Very uh -huh. nice. Are you going to have time to get all these signatures? Will I, I take it all the long boxes, Steve? I don't in know. four days? Oh, sure, because you can dig uh, for me. I, oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> I wouldn't consider spending your money. It's better when you give it to them. <laughs> to Steve. Oh, it's okay. We'll find some stuff for you, Mark, too, because you like to buy stuff, too. Occasionally. So this one here is going to this dude, uh, Mr. Andrews. And nice. I already got the, I, I didn't send it off to you yet because I had to do this. Very nice. I had to get the, cool. the picture put in the back with the whole blurb on the bottom because that's kind of my thing where Very I take cool. my pictures of mm -hmm. everything. And I figured I'd throw in some extra neat stuff too that I found. Oh, oh crazy cool. cat. Crazy cat. Oh, yes. Yep. Dell crazy cat. Yeah. Nice. And then some Charlton because, you know, everybody's got the Charlton stuff going. So why you not? do. Yep. Charlton. Fighting army. Oh, very good. Army. Fighting. It's got to be fighting army, fighting yeah, navy, the, the fighting marines. In there. Air Force, That's yes. Cool. Air Force. Yeah, so some neat books. So there mm -hmm. we go. All right. Very cool. Very, very cool. Good job. Okay. That Good is summer. very nice of Steve, Tina. That he is actually a decent guy. Why he puts up with me, I have no idea. It is very nice of Steve. I'm a glutton for punishment. I don't know. <laughs> it's because I buy lunch. Oh, there you go. Yes, you the do. Canadians <laughs> have to stay together. That's why. So um, I think most people that watch know that I'm a volume one, especially Justice League of America fan. And I um, I don't have Brave and the Bold 28 because it costs a lot of money. But I do have 29 and 30. Um, and I actually started buying these um, as number. Whoop, am I going out? Oh, yeah, no. now he's now in Technicolor. Oh boy! Here is Joe in Technicolor. Okay, someone please grab a hold of the bunny ears. Uh, yeah, get on a the uh, get up the on the roof. On them. Can you hear me, Joe? Oh, yeah, we can hear you perfectly lie. fine. It's just okay. Let me. Gone let me flat, so. Yeah, let me see. Some, right. Something's going wrong here. A little so to the right. Put some tin foil on it. And he's gone. And folks, all right, this is now the, the, the comedy show. part of the show here. So there you go. Um, <laughs> what else you got? Let's see. I can pull out one or two other books that came in that submission. Okay, can do that. Sure. Why not? Are these the ones that you're sure. a little disappointed on the grades, or? Uh, no. The, the I'm going to show the two that I was not disappointed with. So, right. um, so I was getting these uh, order where variant covers for Star Wars. Oh, oh yeah, that's cool. And yep. I love Jerry Ordway's artwork. I mean, and I love Star Wars. So yeah, you know, eight. this was a no-brainer to grab this book. And I sent it off and got it graded. So here we go. It's gonna go in the collection. Nice. And I was hoping to get all of them in nine eights, and well, that didn't happen. I got uh, two nine eights, a nine six, and then another book that we're not gonna talk about because you're going to hurl people, it across the room violently. People under 30 might see it, and, and I don't want my students to see it and realize that I I have issues. But <laughs> <laughs> They already know that. Come on. Yes, I know that. They they tell me that in my psych class every day. Trust me. <laughs> Believe me. Hey, Mr. Hansen, you're in charge of this because we need a deviant personality. Yes, exactly. Thank you. There you go. That's I'm why they man. let you sign up. So. Dr. Um, Afra. Yeah. I mean, we got a great Dr. Afra cover, and you know, I, I'm not entirely sure who this is up in the corner, so maybe uh, Trev can help me out with that. So, I'm not her, sure who the redhead is. Um, oh, I would yeah. hope it was Sheer Bride, but not Sheer Bride, but um, oh, frack, what's her name? Mara Jade. I would hope it's Mara Jade, but I know she hasn't been introduced in the main series. 
And Joe is back. Joe so. is back. What <laughs> happened, Joe? Yep. Well, I was, I was saying I have a new camera, and now I might have to send it back. How's that? <laughs> oh, really? Are you back on the old one? Yeah. Yeah. Because the other camera. It look great? The, the other one looked... had like a wider yeah. look and all that, yeah. which yeah, I kind of like. Let me make you big again real quick, please, here. Okay? Yeah, sure. I'm sorry. Ch That's it's right. Chuck's show now, Joe. Sorry. Yeah, Chuck took over, Joe. We tried to. Well, I thought him. when I came back in, they wouldn't put me in the front, but they did. So go ahead. Uh, that, that's okay. <laughs> Everyone, anyways. Hey, here's the other one that I was really happy with the great on. Yeah. Nice bounty oh, hunters here. Yep. So nice. Oh. Love seeing IG88 up here, though. He's not my favorite of the obscure bounty hunters, though. So uh, that would be like Zuckus or somebody, you know, one of those yeah, guys yeah. who. I like IG88. I think he's pretty cool. I think he is. Well, I like what they did with him in The I mean, Mandalorian with the, yeah, with the other version yeah. of him. You know, they actually made him look cool. So, you know. And then when I they mean, turned yeah, him into a robot. We're not going to discuss the other one that, that they yeah. They turned him into that little robot thing one. for um for Grogu. That was kind of neat. Yeah. Grogu was yes. inside of him and he was controlling him. Yep. Yeah. So. Afra. All right, Joe. So that, that's me doing this. Well, that's us doing the song and dance while you were gone. So, you know. Oh, may I know? Okay. We just You're roll good. along seamlessly. You're good. Okay, it's called pivoting. He's going to go back and watch the tape and go, is it really safe to let these people unattended? I mean. Yeah. I'm sure it was fine. So, anyway. Band, band, band. <laughs> I can see we just we lost nine people. While the, no, I was just joking. <laughs> Hang on. Scrolling. So I'm, collect, so, I'm collecting Just League of America Volume 1. And... Um, before I got these two, I needed 13 out of the 261 issues that came out. And I do have, um, as I said, I do have um, uh, Raven the Bull 29 and, and 30. Maybe one day I'll get 28, but you know, it's, that's their first appearance. And so it's very expensive. But I did start collecting them with number one, but my number one didn't have a cover. So I since went out and found one with a cover. So I have them, I have them all. I now found two more. Uh, so this is cool. And they're, you know, they're in decent shape. They're probably like, you know, threes or something like that. At least this one is. So this is Justice League of America number 40. All right. Oh, uh, I think it's from November 19th, November, right? 1965. Cool. Okay. Very and, you know, it's, it's kind of some of the same silly type of stuff that they did in those days. But for me, you know, when I was younger and reading these, they were really exciting. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, look at Hawkman wielding whatever that Morning Star thing of his. Yeah, a panorama of amazing action, deadly duels, terrific thrills as ten invincible superheroes square off against ten indestructible creatures of Nightmare Island. Okay, let's count them down: one, two, three, four. <laughs> so I bet we can short a few. Yes, to the short of few. So this is number forty. All right. Yeah. Nice. And I also picked up number 66 uh, from November of 1968. So oh, this is kind of cool, <laughs> I think. Yeah, you got these old cool. guys and like weird looking guys, you know? Chasing them. Chasing them and they're all afraid and they're running away from them. Like so I haven't read this one. I don't know what's going Run. on. Run. Run, they smell like liniment. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably right. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so so it's cool. So now uh, I need number 64, 68, 70, 71, 74, 78, 80, 83, 85, 88, and 151. Could you believe when I go to the different stores or the, these different – I can't find a 151 that's yes. – Everybody yeah. take yeah, note. Take actually, note. Yeah. What's that? Take note what he needs. Take note what he needs. Yeah. Oh, Tina was writing like that. See? <laughs> yeah. Just okay. play it back later. Yeah, play it back later. So the next one I got um, is uh, a Dell 4, four cover. Oh, oh Tom man. Man. Look at that one. Yeah. Nice. Now That's freaking cool. I've got a few of these. Yeah. This is this is probably the one that I have that's in the best of shape. Man, right? man. So great. this so I found out a couple of things about you know this when I started looking at this stuff. I mean, I didn't know it was a television show. Yeah. For like yeah. five years or something like that. Yeah. So I have to seek it out. I don't know if it's on one of these like obscure channels or something like that. You know. Probably in Canada. 
Probably. Tubi, or Tubi probably has it. Or yeah, I would like think that. so. It's it's like it's black and white. It's but it's kind of cool. But yeah, yes, this is from nineteen fifty two. Yep. Wow. Okay. It's so the third on. of the three four colors of this before they went to his own book, yeah. which I think had then I think I wrote it down. Uh, had the uh, I don't know was it seven ish no numbers four to eleven. Yeah, there's not mm -hmm. that many of them. Yeah. Yeah, there's not. But again, yeah, but again, the painted covers are really oh, cool sure. usually. Yep. And this one was in really, really good shape. You know. Amazing for a black cover too. Like that's that presents beautiful. Yeah, and the guy wanted twenty five for this. Wow. Oh my gosh! Penny. Yes. So I just took. No, it. look, it says ten yeah. cents. <laughs> I didn't you say it. Okay. Okay. Because it's really in good shape. It you is. Know, I mean, it's not yeah. great, but it's in good shape with respect to this. For the, well, for, for Jensen Dell in that kind of shape, twenty five yeah. is the steal. I mean, yeah, that is, no. yeah. from fifty yeah, nice painted cover, Tom Corbett, Space Cadet. That's a good price, Joe. Yeah. Golden yeah. age, baby. Yeah. So, uh, I can't wait to go home and see. I think I have at least one more. <laughs> I gotta go home and see what I have. All right, but I found this one in a in a local place over here. And then finally, here's one, and I'm sure you guys, because you guys are connoisseurs of comic books, right? Well, yes, of course we are. But way back maybe two years ago, I, I had a series that it was uh, DC versus Marvel mm -hmm. and it, in the 1960s. It went through 1960 through like 1969. And what I did was I found the most expensive comic books based on the highest grade that was on Go Collect. You know, and of course, 60 and, you know, 61, you know, DC murdered Marvel. And then starting with 62, Marvel started take, picking up steam. Could and, you say that again one more time for no, uh, bigger? No. And this book was from <laughs> 1968. And, uh, and again, this is not a high grade, but this is the only DC book in 1968 that made my top 10. And so it intrigued me. I just started looking for it. And it was friggin' expensive. All right. And then um, I found one that has like a little bit of like, you know, mouse eating or something at the top, which made it reasonable for me. And other than that and the top, the rest of it is really good. And it's a show, it's showcase number 79 from 1968, December 1968. And it's oh, oh, nice. Dolphin. Yeah, there we yes. go. Dolphin. Yep. Yeah. yeah. And that this is. Was, yeah. This she didn't appear again for like ten years. No, and right. after you look at this, and, and it's really it, it's really a book. If you get a high grade on this, that costs some money. I mean, so it's it's amazing. Yeah. But I had never heard of it until I did that research, you know. And uh, mm -hmm. you know, but so I haven't read it yet. But I'm looking forward to reading it. And the you know, it's like what's the guy's name? Uh, J. Scott Pike. He made her up. Wrote it. Um, and drew it and everything and came out with it. So, I mean, I got to look a little bit more into what the, what the print run was and the rest of the type of stuff, but it's, I've been looking for this for a while on something that I can justify paying the amount for. And I finally came across it. So I was really cool. happy. Yeah. So I got this online from somebody, I forget who it was. Um, nice. I think it was hip comics. Uh, I have a couple of people that I follow there because generally they have, they sometimes have these things where they start everything at 99 cents. And uh, so if you get a bunch of them together from the same guy, and even though you have to pay for shipping, you can make a pretty good deal on them. So, so nice. this is Dolphin. And uh, I think, it, I think later on, she, I think she had some interaction with Aquaman. Yep. And something, right? Yeah. I mean, so, so yep. she had some other activity, but after this 10 years, nobody ever saw her anymore until some people put her in some Aquaman stories. I think she was involved in some other stories later on, but not too many appearances in DC. You know, she was and in the uh, she was with the Forgotten Heroes for a while. Yes. Yeah, uh, that's who she was with in pre-crisis. So, okay, yeah, yeah. nice. That's a really right. good pickup, Joe. Yeah, yeah so this, I was really happy with that pickup. So that that and the Six Million Dollar Man were my, my my two exciting pickups for for this month on this. So anyway, so mm -hmm. yeah. I, I think uh, you guys have come back again. I know people were expecting Milt. Um, so I want to say Milt had to bow out because uh, he had some uh, some friends over and so forth. And uh, so he left us in the lurch, but that's okay. <laughs> we tried to say that's kind of neat as often as we could. That's yeah. Neat. Yeah. <laughs> that's kind of very neat. neat. 
Very so, yeah, so Tom Corbett's basically that the TV show. Anybody yeah. knows anything about that? I DM me on Instagram because I I, <laughs> I got to take a look now and see that. You know, so everybody had uh, cool finds. I think uh, you know Tina says so, and uh, Tina. and even Chris Bigger says that. So yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he's so got it out for you, man. Yeah. So, and you guys have anything coming up? Uh, Steve, the White Walker. I know you got a channel going. What's come? What can we expect in your channel? Uh, I'm gonna. Have, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna drop a video tomorrow. Like my wife's all stressed out about my collection, and if uh, I die first, and she's stuck with it in the lurch, so I have a contingency plan that I'm going to it's unveil. Mark Andrews. Yeah. yeah see, yeah. <laughs> everybody will help. <laughs> so and that's I, important. I, yeah. So I made a yeah. video up of how I'm going to alleviate her stress and show everybody what I'm doing. And then mm -hmm. tomorrow night I'm on um, Evil Mike's channel with uh, Trev the Shipping Guru and a few other miscreants, and we're going to talk Gunslinger. Yeah. So that'll be fun. Cool books. Cool books. Cool. Very cool. Yeah. But, you know, you know, Steve, you should suggest that for a um, comic book crowd uh, topic because I think that's yeah, a good actually, that would be a good one, too, because I can stand one. on it. It's, it's true. Yeah. It's Yeah, that would be good. So Chuck, what about you? What do you got uh, I do I don't have anything officially planned right now, but uh, you know, every once in a while you'll find me uh, showing up on Gary B's channel. Uh, I did the uh, comics trivia with the Legion of Doom, uh, with the Legion or uh, what are they? Of Legion of Doom, the, the Legion of Comics. Yes, I did that with them on Wednesday and had a really good time. Um, so maybe that will uh, happen again. So otherwise, uh, I like these two gentlemen below me who are going to not be teaching. For a little while, um, <laughs> we, we are we are cranking up for AP season. So, um, so you might only see me on sporadically because I've got stacks and stacks and stacks of papers to pray over. Um. <laughs> and Mark, yes, is there a book that you're chasing? Is there a book I'm chasing? There's always books I'm chasing. Yes. You want to well, give I, us one? Huh? You want to give me one? Well, to, I mean, I'm chasing Lobo issue two for yeah. sure, and mm -hmm. Dolphin one, I think, and Dolphin one. I don't have a, I don't have that. Um, six million know. dollar man. What's that? Six million oh. dollar man. Six. Oh no, I got six. I have the six million dollar man. He's got that. He showed it already. Now. That's why I bought. I got. Um, just I'm just kind of keeping my like. He's waiting for the next phone call. Matter of fact, he has one of those red. Phones that's connected phone. directly to his LCS. Yeah. So he sees it go. It's like it's like the bat phone on Batman. Yeah. Well, you yes. know, our town our town's not that big, and like, you know, so I'm yeah, I'm keeping my eyes open for stuff, and just you know, there's a couple of books I've been following and watching. I I've got some Scooby Doo books, but I don't have number one. Uh -huh. I would love to trip over that someplace and. Um, but, uh, you know, then I, I got outbid on that one, uh, action comics one by you, Joe. So I couldn't add that to my collection. Did you get the, you got the detective though, didn't you? 27. <laughs> <laughs> he had to settle. So, um, yeah, well, you know, I had to, I had to go into the trust, the trust fund for yeah, that. One. Well, you, you, you know, you can't take it with you. So <laughs> that's right. All anyway. Right. Well, guys, thanks so much. You, you make this uh, very lively, and I love looking at the books that you have. I think they're fantastic. Uh, we'll do another one next month, and uh, so start spending some money, Mark. Well, I'll see what I might be able to trip over and, and go, look what I found. But uh... <laughs> Okay, and everybody in the chat, thanks so much for showing up. Really appreciate you people. Um, and, uh, you know, thanks for the thumbs up. You know, that always helps out. Uh, and we will see – well – Next Saturday, no, next Friday, yes. The Anachronic College of Comic Book Knowledge will be on. And the person who is going to be the applicant is Dave Bratton. Ooh. And uh, so that's going to be interesting. Uh, the professor is going to be someone that's closely related to him to help me out. <laughs> so... <laughs> I think it's going to be cool. So uh, try to show up if you can. Um, it's uh, it's going to be a cool show, I think. I bet it'll be a Marvel book that he'll pick. <laughs> uh, I, is there any other? 
Yeah, I don't think so. I don't think so. Yeah, image. Yeah. Image. Okay. All right, guys. Take care again. Thanks a lot for everybody showing up. And we'll see you again real soon. Take it easy. Night all. Take care. Night all.